Yo. Yeah, check it, Mike. Yo. Yeah, check it, Mike. Yo, Mike, check, Mike. Yo. Yeah, check it, Mike. Yo, yeah, check it, Mike. Yo, Mike, check, Mike, check. One, two, one, two. Oh my goodness, man, homie, what you're gonna do? This is B to the A to the double R Y, and you. All Steve. Same here. So I'm sitting today with Barry and Barry and I went to camp at Junior Blind of America. Tell me about when you climbed across that really tall bridge. You were scared that day. That day when I crossed the Burma Bridge I was definitely scared and I lost my balance and I was hanging upside down. And it's really really high. It's as tall as these trees and that was really brave of you. There's so much trouble at camp that you got kicked out of camp. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably another story. Well, yeah, although I don't want to go into that detail. No, I think we should keep this all about love and angels. Yep. And about miracles and miracles that I saw you today. I'm so happy that we get this chance to reconnect. If you want to talk about how you how you became visually impaired. Well, how I became visually impaired was by my biological father. And um, like I said, he doesn't, well, he basically doesn't like kids. So he abused me when I was two and three. And then left me dead in the hospital. And then the doctors told, since I was adopted by Beth and Tom, the doctors told them that I wasn't going to make it. And then all of a sudden the bag, because they put me in a bag. And they uh, they saw the bag moving, which so was they thought you were dead. Yes. Okay. But, okay. But God didn't want me to go just yet, and I didn't want to go just yet. So then the bag started to move, and then it was a miracle. So I'm I'm actually a miracle baby. He said no. I want to live. Exactly. And you're a miracle child. And now you're a miracle adult. And I'm so proud to know you. And I'm so grateful that we yeah. ran into each other today. And so what do you see now? Well, I can see out of my left eye, but my right eye is totally gone. Well, if there was a picture on the wall of that building right there, mm -hmm. I would be able to see that. But I won't be able to read what it says. I would have to go up close in order to read it. And so you see what you want to see? Sometimes? Sometimes I'm like that. <laughs> I think that's really important to know. And so do you see angels? Yes, I do. I believe it. You are an angel. You're an earth angel. Can you tell me what is one of the most difficult things about not having your vision or having impaired vision? Drive. And you're 21, so you are not driving? No. <laughs> and that's hard for me. That's hard. I would, I would think it would be. So you feel you would like to have more independence? Yes. Okay. But as far as I'm doing that, I'm taking access, so I really don't seem to mind. What scares you? Lightning. Lightning scares you? The noise? Yes. Just what would you like to people to know about you? I just want them to know where I come from and stuff like that. So it, it, it upsets you when people don't give you the time of day? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Yeah, that kind of hurts your feelings? Yeah. No, what motivates you to make you happy to get oh. out of bed and to go play and to be oh. fun? And to I, smile because you have a beautiful smile. I, I would have to say going on my computer, it gets me motivated right then and there. Hot chocolate. Woo! <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I love hot chocolate. You don't know and they don't know you. How would you like them to approach you? What do you want them to say? Well, I just like for them to introduce themselves to me. Or if it reverses the other way around, I can introduce myself to them. Because you're really friendly and you're really easy to get along with. Yeah. And so just maybe come up and say hi. Introduce, introduce yourself and just... That's pretty simple, pretty basic, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't see a problem with it. I don't see a problem with it. I don't see a problem with it at all. <laughs> When you dream, what is your body like? Oh my goodness, heaven. What does that look like to you, heaven? Woo, let's see. I can imagine, oh my goodness. Like I had a dream last night 
I saw nothing but golden. I, I saw a golden gate. And right above the golden gate was Jesus. Right there. Flesh in the face. It was like, wow. I just... I bowed to him, like, face first. But does he talk to you? In my dreams, yes. Does he say, behave at camp so you don't get in trouble? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And what else do you dream? What is it? So do you dream? Do you dream in color? Do you dream? What What are you doing in your dreams? I have dreams that I drive and I have 20 vision. Stuff like that. What's your name? It's Barry. Ask me again. I'll tell you the same. What? Oh. Love and peace along with fish and chicken grease, y'all. Check it out. I'm going to show you what I'm about. Right nice. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? I miss you, I miss you, and I love you. Same here. Gee, do you know who you are? Cause I don't even know where I park my car. Check it out, homie. I hope it's not too far, or else I'll get up and just walk by the bar. Walk by the bar, yeah, that's not what I want to do. Oh my goodness, man, just let me stop and tie my shoe. Oh my goodness, man, I'm going to count to four. Y'all already know why, cause I want to learn about the Lord. Yo, check it out. Oh my goodness, man, every time I do this, you already know that you have to hear this, so check it out, man. I'm rapping it out, and I'm taking it out into the beat. Y'all already know why, because I don't want to hit out this to the cotton-picking streets. And I have a 